All right, folks, Paul here. Just um, make a wee quick video. I've just got a few things to do in my car, a lot of maintenance, and yeah, I've got some door handles to fit to my TRX4. So I'll show you what I'm planning to do just now. But, but actually, before I do that, I'll show you this now, quite chuffed to this. I've got my Yamaha buggy here. It's got a new case for it. So I had the old carbon fibre one when I bought it, it was a bit broke at the front. So I've just decided to see this multi colored one to brighten it up a bit. Might change the wheels at some point, but thinking that's looking pretty cool. So if I think that, that's all that counts. Um, next what I'm going to do, um, I was out with my XO1 giving it a wee shot before I did a video and literally I don't know how this happened but the Hobbywing Mac 6 here, it's got like an M3 sticky plate so it actually popped off and ended up going loose which I didn't know until this little on off power switch here came off its pad and went under the wheel and switched it off so I'm going to clean this up got some Gorilla Glue see how that works and glue it down with that and hopefully I'll not get any more issues one thing I'll say well on this car I just couldn't actually believe is these GRP tyres if you can see them they're just are unbelievably sticky like the grip off it is absolutely mental but you can even see, take this example here, I'll try and put the camera if you can see the little stones on the road are actually melting into them, they're so see how tough that is to get off, that they're actually melting into them, the compound is just insane you can see if I put a nail on it there, you can, I don't know if it shows up on the camera but for how soft they are, they're just, they're literally like duct tape, that's how much grip it feels on them so I'm really impressed with them and just the whole car in general but it's going to need a wee wash and tidy up for the little stones and things I've got in it so I'll get that done too <coughs> and the other thing which I'm most looking forward to doing is I don't know if I find it, I think I've lost one there we go that's how sticky the tyres are, I was actually stuck to the tyre <laughs> point proven <clears throat> I've got these little door handles which are pretty cool so if you give me a second just now I'll get my TRX4 I'll just I've not got much space to stick it off put it here just now actually got a lot of stuff going on just a bit of a tip with doing house renovations and I've got things everywhere but obviously you can see there the little sticker door handles and just for a scale look don't really like that too much so I'm going to get these on we'll fit these on later on just little details like that I've got some grill vents coming I might get some checkered plate and just just to give it a bit more detail just I don't know why I want to do it but because you can why not eh glad to be sitting down actually doing this because it's been an absolute pain of a day just to change the car brakes today and they were all seized, the pistons weren't moving right so I had that to all sort um, doing wallpaper and decorating, making the windows coming in so just to sit down and actually not think anything other than my cars is actually the best thing in the world just to sit and chill out so I'll just scrape all this rubbish off use a wee Stanley blade just I don't know how good that's coming on the camera but I'll probably fast forward it just when I do the video and see if nobody's sitting watch us that's if anybody's watching at all because not the most exciting video just thought I'd make it while I'm doing what I do it's an absolute animal of a car though just having a first real wheel shot yet, I just, the power is, I actually couldn't believe how fast it was to be honest, in fact it's 8S as well, I mean the 6S one, know how fast that is, no I've never drove one but that's insane fast and to have, to have it for 6S to 8S just, it's obviously extreme so, it was good fun having a shot so, I was going, going up and down a wee road just getting a feel for it, sorting the trim ins and a big group of cyclists went past and just got that urge. Probably should have, for safety, shouldn't have done it till they went away, but I had to do a flyby past them about 
80 odd mile an hour maybe. Not quite sure, I never had any speedo running at the time, but it was pretty much probably near, near enough the fastest I've ever took a car and wasn't even at like two thirds throttle. <laughs> Crazy. Well, it's been annoying trying to get all the little stones off, but finally I managed to roll it off now, so that'll be a nice clean base to glue down. Hopefully it won't bump off again. I was quite lucky the cable didn't actually catch around the wheel because I wouldn't want to have ripped that off. That would have just been an absolute bummer. I don't know if anybody else has got one of these, but because I'm, it was my first ever X01, a real, real road car, other than that little Tammy uh, TT01, I'd put a Valenium motor in big gear in it and crashed it probably about 80 odd mile an hour that's the only other road car I've had so if anybody is watching this I'm not sure <laughs> the way it's going for subscribers I'm not sure anybody will be but um, if anybody's watching this who's got an X01 um, it'd be good if somebody could pass me some comments on sort of setup say suspension and things I've got the standard springs but the person I bought this off had put upgraded sort of the red ones, I don't know, if, I think they're stiffer springs um, on it, so I'm not sure what what really would be the best setting to have it. It feels like it handles good, but I see just we lack experience in road cars so far. It'd be good if somebody had some sort of advice on setup. I still can't believe I've actually got this. Ever since I first seen it, I've got Ben on diet, break it, fix it. I've you know, followed him for a long time. He's maybe not the biggest channel, but if anybody's watching this who hasn't seen it, I would go and watch it because it's by far, in my opinion, the best channel. The guy's just, I don't know, I just like the way he does his videos and he's pretty straight up. And just seems like a normal sort of guy to watch, and I relate to that more than people who try and make things high production and you feel like they're trying to sell you something more than show you what it's like to live with. So like I say, that's a good recommendation if anybody's watching. Right, that's the base all done there. Let's see just now. It's so all cleaned off. I'll get some cleaner spray on that, maybe like an alcohol dry it all out then I'll be back and I'll glue it on. I think my actual proper cleaner is out in the back of my Land Rover fell out on when I was doing my car brakes but I'll just use this, this degreaser here that'll just, as long as I wipe it off and dry it I'll just take any of the, the rubbish off that's there. I think if the base on, once you went cleaner the cleaner the better because obviously you want it to hold and fix and as that tape didn't do the job I don't really want it to come off again although I'm worried about gluing it if the ESC does go I think it'll be a bit of pain to take off but worry about that if it comes to it Here's this Gorilla Glue, which is probably the same as any other glue, but I just like the name, it just sounds strong, eh? So, they got me there in their advertising. Right. Simmer that down there. Some on the base. Then we'll see, see if it lives up to the name. Try and keep it away from that shaft, drive shaft as much as I can. What I've done as well, just um, if it's easy to see as well because I've got a fixed camera, but I was a bit worried because it's, it's not the standard ESC. And it's, I don't know how big the the castle one is, but the cable seemed awfully close to the the drive shaft. So I've just put 
another sleeve and the rubber around it just in case there's any wear in and it ends up taking the cable off the positive so don't want that stripping and causing damage to something so just maybe not necessary but just by putting that there I'm figuring it'll just eliminates a potential problem it's the thing with these cars it's just they're so fun so addictive but they're not cheap so anything you can do to try and stop yourself in a problem down the line the better to try and do that just prevention's better than a cure or whatever the, the saying is I don't know but probably made that up thinking the best way to do this probably to it does hold is I've got these little clamps clamp that in place and I'll get a big clamp Philly cobwebs not used these in a while but I think the weight of that will be enough, but I'll put a wee clamp on that just to hold it in place. Right, so that should be this bit done just now. Glued back in place, I'll give that a little clean out when it dries and that's that done. Next thing I want to do is just just protect this more. I just noticed that after the run, that you can see a tiny bit coming through in the body, the paint getting taken off inside. So I'm just going to cover it in tape just to basically stop any more damage. And it doesn't actually rattle or shake, but it is good for stopping relax and flexing as well when you're driving along. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll stop the, the video while I do this and I'll just come back when that's done because, I mean, it's probably not the most exciting video I'm going to do ever but it's going to be even less exciting watching somebody just blowing bits of tape down so I'm just going to put strip, strip, strip all the way around, along the sides, along the front and anywhere I think could rub and that'll just stop any more sort of wear on the inside of the body. Right, nothing really fancy about that at all, just seen there's a little bit of rubbing here, a little bit of rubbing on the other side, and a little bit on the bonnet, because I think I've got bigger than standard wheels on it, it's maybe just when it's expanding, it's just touching slightly, so that should protect the shell now, and I'll get this back on, and that should be me with this car, just the little clamp should be set as well, so that's one job out the road. Check this glue, absolutely solid, can't see that coming off at all, so I'll get the case on and I'll get onto the door handles on the Defender. still think this is probably one of the best looking cars there is, definitely that I've got. Hello, oh, my new EDR is coming tomorrow. See what that looks like, but that looks a beautiful machine to it. These cases are a bit fiddly on the XO one, so really snug. There we have it. Put this baby away. Mwah. <laughs> Right, onto this TRX now, so got my door handles here, get the four of them drilled, let's get a, looks like a maybe a, hard to see there, maybe like a one and a half mil drill bit or something like that, I'll measure that out, but I'll take the case off it, clean it up a bit, because I've not actually washed this since the last time I had it out, then do a few measurements, mark the holes, drill them, stick them on, go through that quickly and 
we'll see what it looks like. Hopefully it'll look good. Yeah, I'm not going to clean the whole car just now, just because I can't actually be bothered, to be honest. I just, it's not really going to affect anything just now, so I'm going to pe peel the, the door handle stickers off. <coughs> okay, do a marking, which it should be fairly easy, because when you actually see the line across the door here, the curve, it's going to be pretty straight. So that'll be a good guide reference, just as long as I mark down evenly on each one, they should turn out pretty good. So what I'll do, I'll get on me peeling these stickers. Then I'll get a pen, mark it out, bolt them on. I really don't like them, they're just... I don't know, I just think for the price of a TRX4, as good as it is, it's just, I mean, they've got a roll cage, they've got, obviously, the good mud guards, or the little rivet effect, it's got wing mirrors, which annoys me as well, they've got, like, a paper instead of a, instead of an actual shiny bit of reflective, I don't know, just what they could use, like, a mirrored sort of shiny tape, there would look better just for more sort of realism, I might even do that, but... I mean, just as a couple of little things for the money that one of these is, I think they could stick on for you. They probably know you're going to do it yourself, but which is part of the fun, but I don't know. I just think Traxxas could maybe up their game a little bit. The TRX4 itself, though, just absolutely amazing. Just It looks so good. The suspension on it just works right. It just The way it climbs, the way it's got the gearboxes, the lock and diffs. It's just, I don't know, it's just so fun to just drive. Sometimes I like driving it more than my real Defender. <laughs> Sound good about seeing things in smaller scale, working like, like the bigger sort of vehicles. It's just, it's just amazing to watch, it just, just looks good. Right, so I'll do these two first. I'm trying to find a sort of similar matching drill bit. So it's a bit big, so. Maybe this, I can little bore it, bore it out a little bit. I've actually got a little Dremel drill kit that this came with, it's sort of loads of different bits, but... You've got to use the Milwaukee when you can, because... Because it's Milwaukee, that's it. Alright, before I do this too, just one thing that did bug me with the Defender was... They got the scale and they look right, but... They did have the door handles off a high, so if you look, I don't know if this is here on the camera, but there's a picture of my actual Defender, and if you look at the, the, the door handles, they're quite a little bit further down, so what I'm going to do, is I'm going to measure out roughly, maybe to the kind of same area just now we'll mark it, and I'll put them a bit lower down just to make it more realistic. I my marker pen, I think one of the kids has got, got the one I had, so i use a normal pen, it shouldn't really matter, but probably say, let's see if this side holds. Probably probably put the one and a half centimetre down for, for this line here. So where the arch starts come in, that should be spot on, and I'm put in line with the window for the first mark. Just about there. Can't see it on the camera, but the mark there's came up quite well. So I'll draw the first one. Once that one's drilled, line up to the next hole. Spin it round, then drill that. Okay, 
people say not to use normal drills but end of the day a drill's a drill and it's just easier but I like the weight of a normal drill so I need to bore that out a little bit I will but I just don't want it to be too big I want it to be nice and tight so. I think that should probably be perfect. How about that? Couldn't even be any better. So, level it off, and I think because the line's so close by, eye is easy enough. Get my pen again. If I remember where I put it. Stick that there. So, yeah. Just triple check this before I do it. Gonna take this off, stick it in, then I'll do the rest of them. We'll see what it looks like. Hey, that's a drilled and screwed on, so that's one of them done there. And a bit dirt in it there. That just looks so much better, just, just a bit more 3D look as opposed to the little sticker, which just takes a little bit away from it, I think. So, for the sake of £3 definitely worth buying so I'll just put the rest of them on obviously not rocket science screwing them just drilling it being confident in what you're doing and that's really about it but before I do that I'll just actually I don't know if um, how many I've actually done windows or anything on them but when I cut these windows out that was a pretty easy job too as if we just keep on scoring round and round the legs and maybe five or six times with a really sharp scalpel and just put a big drill bit in the middle like 25 mil fast bit anything really then what you do is you just get the scalpel slashed to the corners and just fold it in and out and it all breaks out easily and I've got this one minus a bit I've got left a bit basically a clear plastic sort of what is it called I don't know if that's actually the name of this sticker stuff, but it's like a polycarbonate or something like that. It's cheap off the internet, just buy two mil thick bit of that and cut out to size. But as opposed to doing every window, what I just done was just cut one, one big length out and the same at the back. Just cut, cut one big piece in there and just glued it in. And that just another thing, it just makes it look a little bit better. Alright, so that's all the door handles on now. So we've got front and the back there. And the same on the other side. And it just gives a little defender a, just a more sort of authentic look. A bit more scales. I've got some wiper blades coming next I'll stick on too. It's just a similar process. I might not even put a video of that, but... Just draw a couple of holes, put the allens on, and it should look pretty nice with having wipers on it. Just all the little details count. But so it's probably not the most exciting video. It's actually, definitely not the most exciting video I've done or you'll ever see. Possibly could be one of the worst ones, but my channel, I just really want to do this. Just It's good going out playing with the cars, doing nice videos, making little films. Obviously fixing things can be helpful and just adding little bits but it's just really my day to day fun with a hobby I just like to record it and hopefully people like watching so I've got a UDR coming tomorrow and if the weather's good I'll keep on promising to take this XO one over here out 
Um, so I'll, I'll get one of them up pretty soon and I'll just try and make something a bit more fun instead of this. But catch you next time. Bye.